the Kardashian Jenners are in the news so much that you might think that you know everything about them. Seriously, it's like a news story comes out every day. But there are actually a few things that even most Kardashian obsessed fans may have forgotten over the years. For instance, do you remember who Kylie's first love was? All of that and more will be revealed in this video, but you have to stay tuned to find out. New around here? Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this. Now, let's take a look at 10 things everyone forgot about Kylie Jenner. She raps. This one happened pretty recently, but still slips under a lot of people's radars. Kylie Jenner was once an up-and-coming rapper. Well, that might be a bit of an exaggeration, but she did, in fact, rap on a song. We know what you're probably thinking. Kylie rapping, why? But there had been rumors that she was getting into the music industry for a while, and she certainly knows a lot of rappers, so it kind of makes sense. How many rappers can you date before you want to get in on the action? Kylie teamed up with Atlanta-based rapper Lil Yachty for his song Beautiful Day. The two work together with Burberry Perry. The song goes along with the theme song from the show Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Kylie's part of the song isn't the biggest, but it's more than we ever expected her to rap. She does mention in the song that it's her first time on a track. Her best friends, singer Justine Skye and model Jordan Woods were also featured on the track. We wonder if Kylie will turn this one-time rap song into something that launches a career in hip-hop. We can't really see it, but Kylie has surprised people more than once, so we probably shouldn't rule anything out. She failed to register her name. What's in a name? Apparently a lot. It's the way celebrities brand themselves and their products to differentiate themselves from others. That's why many stars go by stage names or drop their last names. Apparently, Kylie went to register the name Kylie for advertising services and endorsement services in 2015, according to papers filed with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office. Her request might have gone through if it hadn't been for Australian pop singer Kylie Minogue. Minogue owns the website www.kylie.com and has been performing as just Kylie to her millions of fans since before the youngest Jenner was even born. So Minogue filed a notice of opposition, saying that it could cause possible confusion and damage her branding. Minogue also said in papers issued by KDB, a business representing her, that Jenner was a secondary reality television personality who was only a supporting character for the more popular Kardashians. Because of this, the patent office rejected Jenner's application. Her legal team did appeal the decision, though. Poor Kylie. To not be able to register your own name has got to be a bummer. But if the saying, first come, first serve, means anything, then Minogue definitely did come first. The two Kylies have very different brands, so it makes sense that they wouldn't want to be confused with each other. She wrote a book. Kylie Jenner isn't exactly known for her intelligence. She, like the rest of her famous sisters, is more known for her beauty, keen sense of fashion, and makeup prowess. But Kylie actually wrote and published a book with her sister Kendall. The two sisters co-wrote the book with ghostwriter Maya Sloan. The story is called Rebels City of Indra, the story of Lex and Livia. It takes place in a futuristic world in the city of Indra, which is a beautiful paradise in the sky. One of the main characters, Lex, grew up in an orphanage, but is later chosen to become an elite cadet. Debt. The other main character, Livia, lived a life of wealth and privilege, but felt just as restricted as Lex. A mysterious young man brings the two together. Once he goes missing, they team up to find him and set out on an adventure that changes both of their lives forever. The book was released on June 3rd, 2014 by Simon & Schuster. Unfortunately, the book did not receive great reviews when it first came out. On Amazon, it had an average ranking of 1.7 out of 5 stars, and on Goodreads, it garnered 2.73 stars. People also Attack Sloan, the ghost writer, saying that she must have just banged her head against the keyboard to come up with the book. Ouch. She was on America's Next Top Model. Keeping up with the Kardashians isn't the only show that Kylie Jenner has been a part of. Nope, she was actually once a guest of the popular modeling contest America's Next Top Model. Now, that may be a little strange for some people to take in, considering that Kylie isn't a model. There has actually been quite a debate surrounding if her older sister Kendall is even a model or if it was her money and fame that got her to where she is today. But that's neither here nor there. In 2012, the two sisters, along with their mom, Kris Jenner, got to be models for the day as the contestants were instructed to pose with them for the photo shoot. The shoot consisted of the two sisters being dressed as creepy twins. The models also had to dress up as toddlers. Things couldn't have gotten any weirder. We really wonder what the purpose of having the Kardashians on set was. They certainly could have hired any models to stand in as creepy twins, and it probably would have been a lot less expensive. But the Kardashian-Jenner name definitely gets people's attention, so they probably did it to bump up the viewer ratings. The reason behind her lip kits. 
In 2016, Kylie Jenner wowed her fans and released her own line of lip kits. By now, everyone is using them and loving the kits. We are so used to them that we often forget what inspired Kylie to create them in the first place. In an interview with Miss Rodial, Kylie said that she has always been obsessed with makeup and lip liners specifically. She said that she thinks her fans and followers know her to always have overlined lips that give her a fuller lipped look. But what really sparked her interest in coming up with a lip line? It's something that most people may not have thought of. Before her kits came out, Kylie would often tell her fans which lip liners she was wearing and which were her favorites. When she did that, that lip liner would sell out almost instantly and she wouldn't even be able to get it for herself. That is, when she realized how much power and influence she had in the makeup industry. So she decided to come out with her own. Since their release, the lip kits have exploded. She has come out with matte and velvet versions and has products for the rest of your face as well. So we guess you could say that breaking into the world of makeup was a good choice for Kylie. She met Caitlyn over FaceTime. Anyone who has been watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians since the beginning knew Bruce Jenner. He was the most reluctant cast member of the show and the biological father to both Kylie and Kendall. Well, in recent years, Bruce decided that he was unhappy living as a man and wanted to transition into a woman. He did that and changed his name to Caitlyn. When this happened, everyone was shocked and wondered most of all how the children would take it. Kylie told Ellen on The Ellen DeGeneres Show that she initially bottled her feelings up about her father transitioning, but now she likes it a lot better. She can talk to Caitlyn about makeup and shopping. She can also bond with her a lot more than she could with Bruce. She said that she had known this was coming for a while because she and her sister caught him dressed as a woman back when they were six and seven years old. But the first time she saw her dad as Caitlyn was when she was drugged up from the dentist and FaceTimed everyone in her family. She said that Caitlyn was initially worried about meeting her daughter that way, but Kylie reassured her that it was fine and that she looked amazing. How sweet. She has a clothing line. Kylie's beauty products are becoming what she's known for. You don't think about Kylie without thinking about her lip kits. Because of this, lots of people have forgotten that she and her sister Kendall actually have their own clothing line. The two previously collaborated with big brands like PacSun and Topshop to come out with lines. After having a taste of the fashion world, they decided that they wanted to come out with their own line. This is all us. It's enjoyable to be able to fully create, Kendall told WWD about the line. It's a lot different from our Topshop and PacSun collections because those were both collaborations, so they obviously had a say in everything. Their line is called Kendall Plus Kylie and debuted in spring 2016 at Nordstrom, Saks, Bloomingdale's, and online at Shopbop and Revolve. When it first launched, it included a selection of tops, dresses, denim, and jackets, all for under $250. They also launched a shoot collection of strappy stilettos and more. I feel like we both really evolved our styles and this represents what we want to wear, Kylie said at the time of the launch. Designing is something that we've always wanted to do, and I think it's really cool to kind of step back and put the looks together and be a part of the shoot when it's a different model modeling it and actually being the creative person behind it," added Kendall. She was bullied. No one likes to feel left out or made fun of for things that they can't control. But for many people, that is the case throughout much of their childhood. Bullying is a problem that a lot of children face and Kylie Jenner is no different. She may seem like she has it all together now and has millions of fans who would love to be her friend, but that doesn't mean that she has never been bullied. I have been bullied my whole life whether it was about my peers or comments on Instagram or Twitter and I never talked about my story really, she told Ellen DeGeneres. I have kind of accepted it that that just comes with the territory. I was online and finding other girls and boys my age who have been bullied and have overcome it and have done something amazing with it. They have inspired me. Whereas regular people are usually only bullied by people at school or around them, Kylie has been bullied by pretty much the whole world, which was probably a horrible feeling. Can you imagine if news sites wrote whole articles about how much they disliked you? We would be devastated. But Kylie used that bullying to motivate her to make something out of herself and be the person that she is today. You go, Kylie. She may have gotten a stolen car for her 18th birthday. Kylie's on-again, off-again relationship with rapper Tyga was no secret. In fact, it was so public that it is one of the first things that comes to mind when people think of Kylie. If you aren't familiar with the whole sordid tale, let us break it down for you. Tyga used to date a girl named Black China. They had a son together and China was pretty good friends with Kim Kardashian as well. Later, Tyga left China and started dating Kylie Jenner, who wasn't even 18 at the time. So it's safe to say there was a lot of drama 
drama there. For her 18th birthday, Tyga got her a red Mercedes-Benz G-Wagon. He reportedly gave her the present a few hours before their family dinner at Nobu in Malibu. It all sounded nice until reports began to come out that the present actually used to belong to Black China. According to TMZ, all Tyga did was paint the car red. Even the license plate matches the number on the one that Black China was driving only months prior. Kylie is no longer with Tyga and it is honestly probably for the best. Who would take a car from an ex and gift it to you like it's new? So strange. She dated Jaden Smith. Kylie has certainly had her fair share of famous guys. Her most tumultuous relationship, of course, was the one we described with Tyga. There was so much drama in that relationship that people forget her previous famous beaus. Remember when she used to date Jaden Smith? The two dated for a while when they were younger. She even brought him as her date to her sister Kim Kardashian's wedding in 2014, where the two were caught making out. Their relationship didn't last long, but they seemed enamored with each other. They have remained friends over the years, which has caused them each more than a few problems in recent relationships. According to several sources, in 2015, Kylie split from her then-boyfriend Tyga for a bit because of Jaden. Kylie and Jaden have been hanging out lately and it made Tyga suspicious. He thought something might be going on, so that was one issue, one source told E! Online. Another source insisted that nothing had happened with Kylie and Jaden in a while. She has a close relationship with Jaden since they were very young, but nothing romantic has happened with them since she has been with Tyga. Jaden will always love Kylie, and Kylie will always have a love for Jaden. They grew up together and were each other's first loves. Though they are both dating other people now, they still seem to be friends. That's it for 10 Things Everyone Forgot About Kylie Jenner. Did you remember everything on the list? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching!